Today, I'm going to teach you how to catch redfish in Florida. Not only just redfish, but big redfish, guys. The bigger, the better. And we're gonna be breaking down the baits, tackle, setup, spots, and everything that we are fishing. So if you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's get on some redfish. All right, guys, the reason right now we'd be fishing a jetty is because redfish run the beaches and they need structure like a jetty like this. Redfish, snook, trout, when they're running the beach, they're gonna hang out around jetties or any piece of structure on the beach because it provides shelter for them for predators like dolphins and sharks. And it also is the place the bait conjugates. As you guys saw, we made a ton of white bait here, which is key for them. White bait, pinfish, pinfish on the flats, but we found all the white bait piled up here. So there's bait, there's mullet, there might as well be redfish here. So we're gonna give it a shot right now. All right guys, so today I'm gonna break down everything redfish for you guys, plain and simple. How to catch them obviously and everything you need to know. So we went over jetty fishing earlier, how you go fish a jetty, there might be redfish there, there might not be, but it's a good place to start because it's got good structure on the beach. So right now we're doing the flats. Right now we're on a beautiful flat right now. It's got docks all around it. And this is kind of the area I'm gonna be working right now. We got structure on the flat. This can be huge for redfish guys. A lot of times you'll see the redfish and they'll just be you know, an open flat, whatever. But a lot of times these docks can be holding a ton of redfish. And if you're new to catching redfish, this is one of the best ways to do it, guys. Because you're able to work ground structure and figure out what the redfish are eating with chum, as I'm gonna go over with you guys and break it all down right now. All right, guys, so here's what we're chumming with. We got pilchards right here. Little greenbacks, whatever you call them. And pretend there's a dock right here, right? All I'm going to do is throw them or if you have that little wiffle ball bat thing, great. But I'm gonna throw them out on a flat dock, mangrove, whatever. And usually, fish are gonna come blowing up on that. I like to throw about a net full because we made a lot of bait. And it brings in the fish, it drives the redfish crazy. They go into an eating frenzy. And one of the things I have found is when you're catching a bunch of little reds on the um, greenbacks, pilchards, whatever you wanna call them, the bigger ones might just be dialed in on cut bait. So that's why you always wanna have pinfish and pilchers, guys. Those are the two key baits for catching them redfish in the spring. All right, guys, so for my setup today, plain, simple, and easy. We got my Tsunami Evict 3000 on my Tsunami Carbon Shield rod, guys. It's a great setup. This reel is fully sealed, so you can dunk in the salt water and get away with it. It's a great setup, guys. And I got my size one Florida Tackle Supply J-hook with a 30 pound or 20 pound fluorocarbon leader by Florida Tackle Supply. And this is how you rig the cut pin fish, guys. I like to leave a little piece of the tail so it's hard to hook through. And I hook it just like that. That's how you fish a cut pin fish, guys. It's very simple. And then pretend it's either mangroves or docks, something to skip under. And you'll just cast it out like so. And then all you do right there is let it sink down the bottom, leave the spool open and feel. Because you'll feel the redfish pick it up and take it, and then you're on. It's very simple fishing, guys. Very easy. Skip under a dock, skip it under a mangrove, or cast it in a pothole in a flat. Simple. All right, guys. Plain, simple, easy for fishing the pilchards. You can use a popping cork or anything else, but I just like to free line them on a size one J-hook by Flora Tackle Supply of 20 pound fluorocarbon liter. This setup's a little bit lighter. We got the um, Shimano Stratic 4K, and then we got the Fenwick inshore rod. It's rated at eight to 20 pounds with 20 pound braid. I can pretty much feel everything on this rod, guys. It's light, easy to cast the green back out on. And it's really simple, guys. When you're fishing them, you wanna pay attention to them. And the most important thing is have your rod in free spool so the green back can swim. You want it to look as real as possible. You don't want him to be restricted in his movement or anything. You want him to be whipping about and you want him to get eaten. So if I'm fishing a dock, I'm flipping it under the dock where I'm, we've chummed him up and I throw him in right in the chum, or if I'm fishing the mangroves, I'm throwing right on the outside of the mangroves, and if I'm fishing the flats in the potholes, guys. But one thing you have to realize too is in the flats, there's a lot of dead areas. You'll go around a flat, you'll be like, man, there's nothing here. One area holds all the life with the ocean, pretty much. The, just like the coast holds all the life, the middle of the ocean's got nothing. So you have to find what's holding the life and where the life is. So guys, right now we are chumming to see if any redfish are in the area. It's a really low tide. So we're fishing some good potholes. I spooked a redfish earlier, so let's see if they're around. Oh, I got one. Oh, pulled hook, pulled hook, pulled hook, pulled hook.
Well, well guys, they're eating right now as they're fishing this dock with a free line greenback. See if we can keep on them. First red. They're here. Not big, but they're here, guys. There's our first one of the day. Oh yeah, calm down. First red on the greenback, guys. Just chumming this dock up, and bam, there we go. So, not a big one, but beautiful fish, and we'll catch more. The boys were hooked up on another red. The dock is coming alive from all the chum. And another rat. There's gonna be big ones that start appearing. But here we go, guys. Can't complain when you're on them, right? You flipped them in the boat. Now we're gonna get them off the hook. But yeah, they're getting bigger, guys. Here we go, guys. Another small redfish. We're gonna see if we keep catching small ones on the catch the small ones on the live greenback. We're gonna switch to cut pinfish because. You know, if the rats are eating one thing, the big ones are gonna be eating another, but beautiful little red, we're gonna let them go to live another day, obviously. Guys, so right now we're working a flat, and oh my god, big one. There, no, not big, but he ate it instantly. But right now we're working a flat and there's a dock on it. So this structure provides a nice home for redfish, you know, as I went over earlier with the whole jetty spiel. Hey, it's not bad, but they're starting to get a little bigger. But that one hit it really hard. There's another redfish. Just like that. Oh, calm down, calm down, calm down. Oh yeah, there we go guys. A little size one Florida tackle supply J hook. And my full tsunami setup with the carbon shield and the uh, Evict 3000. There we go guys. Another day, another redfish. So I'm going this side of the boat so it doesn't spook the whole school. Whew. I think you're, oh, I'm on. <laughs> Dude, just cast right there. <laughs> let, let your bait swim, like having it in free school. I'm on another redfish, guys. They are really chewing. Oh yeah, dude. It's a better one. Here we go, guys. Another day, another redfish. Oh, oh, stop flopping on the deck, little guy. Hey. Just like that, guys, another redfish on the white bait. And Marcus is hooked up, so that means we're doubled up. Oh, bust you? Damn, he got busted. I think Marcus is hooking into the better ones while I'm just rat fishing. <laughs> but it's wide open, guys, just on a free line greenback. And after a little bit of chum, we're on, boys. He actually beat one. I beat one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, that's all you had to do, huh? Nice one, dude. Alrighty. <laughs> he's out, he's out, he's out. Man, they are on freaking fire right now. Took about all morning. Come on, we need to get some bigger ones. I feel like they're just gradually getting bigger. Yeah, dude. There we go. Look at this. Dude, they're all six spotted. Well, guys, we are steady on the redfish just by chumming and free lining baits. This is one of my uh, favorite ways to do it is on the live bait like this because you just get them and it's more fun when they hit it. But we got to get bigger, guys, so let them go. Oh, shit. No. Dude, that's a good one. Got him. Maybe not that good. What the heck's going on with him? That is fin. He's got some red fins. There we go, guys. I got a little frayed up on that one. Might have to retie. But they are wide open. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's getting better right there, guys. That's definitely getting better in size and grade. Ate it right away. But as you guys see, just some chum and some greenies and springtime fishing is a here. Let's let them go. Boys, good? 
There we go. There we go. Nice, dude. He's getting bigger. Mean one. Dude, look at him. Springtime reds, guys. Eating, eating, and eating. There we go. They're getting bigger. Gradually. Good, good. How are you? Redfish right now. Nice. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, it's a good one right here. Oh, it's a good one, dude. Oh, yeah. Where'd you get him? Right out deep? Gotcha. That's it, dude. Nice. He wrapped himself. Doubled. Doubled. Doubled up. <laughs> there we go, guys. He's hooked up. I'm hooked up. The redfish are freaking chewing. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's every cast, guys. Good genetics. I got a bad genetic then. <laughs> Oh, he's not bad. Can't complain, guys, when you're on redfish. Especially wide open like this. Just let him go. Oh, oh that's a big one. No, that's not too big. There we go, guys. There we go. This one's just fighting good. There we go, guys. That's a freaking fighting red right there. Oh, he's better. Probably in that slot range. A little chunkier. Not bad. Yeah, not bad. Where's your big brother? Where's that 27 inch red? Well, guys, as you see, wide open, beautiful redfish on this flat right next to this dock. And as you guys see, all we're doing is using the free line rig. You don't gotta get fancy this time of year. You really don't have to get fancy in general catching redfish in Florida, but we need to get bigger, so let's keep grinding. Oh, there you go. Yeah, guys, the whole thing is you have to be like super prepared at all times fishing docks like this, because one big redfish gets you, your shot's over. He wraps you through two of those pylons with all those barnacles and oysters. Game over. So tighten down the drag and just be ready. Guys, what I'm doing now is just preparing a cut pinfish as I went over earlier. And all I'm doing, you know, little extra modifications, cutting off the fins. And then pinfish will float because of like their air bladder or whatever. So I cut into that and make sure there's no air bladder left. That way before you cast, you don't see your pinfish floating away. A nice way to double check is drop it in the water and he's sinking down, so. But anyways, guys, this is the same rig, just a free line. Free line to cut bait. Let it like look as natural as possible on the bottom. No weights for the redfish to feel. And then all I'm doing with the cut pinfish, bail open, and I'm feeling for when they grab it. That is key, guys. And, oh, he's got it. And the cut bait rod. Oh, that's a good one, though. Get him out. I'm in trouble. Oh my God, get out, get out. Oh, he keeps turning his head, dude. That's better. Come on, on the cut pin, guys. Oh, he pulled hook. Did you see the size of that one? Oh, that was a freaking 26, dude. Oh, 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 dude. Pass me one, pass me one. Dude, no, that was 30 inches, dude. Oh, he's blowing up again, he's blowing up again. He's right there. Come on. Come on. Dude. No way you got him. Get him, get him out, get him out, get him out. Oh, I think it's a snook, dude. Get, well, cr crank on him, crank on him. Oh, be careful, be careful. If you feel too much pressure on an oyster. Oh, it's a oh, snook. Uh, creep us over there, yeah, yeah. Redfish fishing, you make it that surprise snook oh right in the God, mesh. Dude. He's good? Oh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Oh. Yeah, be really careful. He scooped it. Oh, he's oh. nice. He's nice. Let's go. Can we land him? Yeah, please. He might go, so just be ready. 
Oh, oh. Go. yeah! Let's go. That's a stud, dude. Get out. The flyers. There we go, guys. Look at the snook Marcus just caught. We saw a huge blow you up. Get yeah, you got him. <laughs> huge blow up led to jumbo. Check that thing out, guys. Stud snook Marcus yeah, just baby. caught. That's what we're that. talking about. We're gonna measure him up. Awesome. See how big he is, and oh yeah. Boys, look at the mouth. Thirty inch snook, boys. <laughs> That's your first thirty. Nah, my thirty uh, is my biggest. Oh, there we go. Tying a PB right now. Absolute battle that thing put into the mix. Absolute freaking battle on the 3K tsunami evict, guys. Look at that. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, Marcus got a little red, so the reds are back. Surprise, Snook is gone. <laughs> Check that thing out. Nice little one. There we go. Well, good thing that the uh, tsunami reel is fully sealed, so if you drop in the water like I just did, it'll be fine just <laughs> right after that. I picked up, guys. That's got to be a good one. Yeah. I know, dude, but that one that came off and the freaking cupcake came flying out of his mouth, I was like, no. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, oh, oh. Don't knock my scissors in. Nice little red. I need to get myself something bigger. Let's let him go. On the cup bait. That's a good red. There we go. That's a good one, dude. On the cut. There we go, guys. The cut bait prevailed. This one's good. Just as we were about to move. Go figures. That's what we're after right there. Woo! I think maybe we should just switch the cut bait. What the bigger ones want, what they're elite. Look at that one, dude. Is that a snook? Cast out, cast out. We got a snook, something blew up. It might be a red, dude. It might be flushing. There we go, guys. I'm gonna help him up gently. Oh, he's not done. Hey. Oh, lip him up. There we go, guys. Nice red. There's a nice red fish. All right, guys, there's a nice red fish. This one's in the slot for sure. Probably about 20 inches or so on the cut bait. Had to wait him out and he came up and slurped it. So we're gonna let this beautiful red fish go to live another day. He's ready. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode of Hog Squad. I hope it taught you guys how to catch red fish and where to start looking. And guess what, guys? A new video will be out next week, so stay tuned. And if you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I got plenty of other videos linked right here that will teach you how to catch many other fish in the Florida area. Peace.